no. Oh no. It's evidence. I, I thought when I got my camera out, I thought the first thing I'll say is without a nice walk through the park in the morning, I think I'd have a nervous breakdown. But um, actually walking through the park this morning is giving me a nervous breakdown because there's like so much forensic evidence in this park. It's terrifying. So um, I am going to go on a mission today. I feel like a zombie, actually. I feel like a conspiracy zombie just because now I had too much sleep. <laughs> so yeah, I had too much sleep. So there we go. But later on, I'm going to go on a little mission to a place called Fitzrovia. Ever been to Fitzrovia before? It's like some kind of mysterious vehicle. Zooming in on this camera is rubbish, but can you see there's some kind of mysterious vehicle? They have some pretty decent machinery. Oh my God, look. They have some pretty serious machinery in this park, just to let you know. I wanted to try and show you um, <laughs> from when I had that like funny conversation with the guy on Skype. He was talking about the front of uh, Buckingham Palace, and he, you know, he talks in a mysterious way, like there might be something going on, you know, at the front of Buckingham Palace. And I was very cynical about it, obviously, because you know, on a daily basis, I see things like this on my way to work. You know, what is it that's going on here? I mean, to hell with like the frilly, bloody stone ornamentation on the background. I mean, I think it's there's some there's something else going on here, isn't there? You know what I mean? You just have to deal with that. So I'm on a mission. I don't know if you saw, but um, Facebook have released an interesting document about information operations on their platform. It's them basically admitting that Facebook is used by spies and all sorts of other people who have an interest in changing public opinion. They've got some interesting stuff in there as well, which is saying that oh, governments, states have always used uh, misinformation techniques to sway public opinion and uh, Facebook seem seemingly is being uh, positioned into a place which means they are going to perform some kind of structural role. They see themselves as a, um, as a, as a way that ordinary people can access politics and the political discussion and they see themselves as like a crucial bit of infrastructure for um, political discourse apparently and they want to weed out information operations as if they're not like just a massive information operation themselves I'm also like by doing this I'm, I'm going to the um, I'm going to the fa new Facebook London headquarters which is apparently going to be moved into very very soon so I'm doing a sort of like real live research, exploration. I'm lost, okay, I, I admit it. I don't really know where it is, but around here somewhere. This, I think. I'm pretty sure that, that is the new Facebook headquarters. Okay, I'll come clean. The reason I wanted to come down here is because I was checking out the new Facebook headquarters, obviously not built yet on Google Maps and I spotted something rather peculiar. It seems as if that in the new headquarters there's going to be a restaurant called the Jerusalem Cafe. I wanted to come down and see if it actually exists in real life and I thought oh no it's being redeveloped or it's shut down but no it's not. It is still here. It's just I guess it is being redeveloped. But yeah, Facebook headquarters has uh, an in-house bar and kitchen called the Jerusalem Cafe. 
I thought maybe that was mildly interesting. Yeah, that's it really. I just wanted to come down and have a look. It's quite an impressive sort of like big arch in the middle. I don't know what that's for. I don't know what the hell that's all about. But there we go. Rathbone Square. It's where the new digital democracy project will be run.